Hello, friends. We're podcasting for anyone interested in learning how to make a least squares regression line. That is to do a linear regression on a graphing calculator. In this podcast, we will do the following things. We'll learn how to put data in lists. We'll set up a stat plot. We'll set up a window on the calculator to match any graph you have on paper. We'll perform the linear reg re regression. We'll be able to identify the correlation value R, and then we'll view the regression line with the scatter plot on the calculator. So here we go. So uh, I'm going to use the following data from problem one on our homework. There it is. And now I'm going to take my calculator and I'm going to hit stat and enter and that will put me in the list. Now if you have unwanted data we're going to use L1 for the X's and L2 for the Y's. If you have data in here you don't want simply go up to the title of the the list and hit clear followed by enter. Then I've got them both cleared out. So I'm going to clear these and I'm going to put the data in the list. Note all of these values here. All of these X's are going to go in L1. All of these X's are going to go in L1. And all of these Y's are going to go correspondingly to those X's and these Y's. So we're going to have 10 total points. And I'm going to put them in just like this. So I got 0, enter. And then I got 0.5, enter. So on and so forth. I'm going to put all these in without wasting time in the podcast. With all the X's in, I'm going to move over and do the Y's. I just wanted to emphasize, when you have a negative number, you got to use this little negative sign right here and not the minus sign right there. That's what you don't want. Hit enter after each one. So they got negative, two, so on and so forth. I'll finish this up. All right, so you now see all the data from this problem in the list. So first thing we're going to do is set up our window to look at this. And I want you to notice on this graph that the X's start at negative 1 and they go by 1's all the way up to 7 and the Y axis the interval is 2 they start at negative 6 and they go up to positive 10 so to simulate this on the graphing calculator I hit the window key remember I said the X's go from negative 1 through 7 by ones and the y's go from negative 6 to positive 10 by twos and now when I hit graph I'm gonna get a graph that looks exactly like this But before I hit graph I am gonna set up a scatter plot it tells the calculator I wanna look at those points that I put in the list in this window so I hit second stat plot uh, notice I have two on and I wanna turn them all off to start so I'm gonna hit four which is plots off and hit enter and now they're all turned off now I'll go back second stat plot I'm gonna go into the first stat plot I'm gonna turn it on by hitting enter I'm gonna down arrow and the first one is scatter plot if it's not highlighted hit enter on that and then go down and put your X list ours is in L1 our Y's are in L2 and my points are gonna be the little circly things I think that works best and now I hit the graph and I have a window that looks exactly like this with those points on it. Now I want to perform the linear regression and I want to put the line of best fit, the least squares regression line, in this graph. So to do this, I hit the stat button, I write out a calculate, and number four is my linear regression. I hit enter. My X's are all in L1. I hit a comma. My Y's are in L2. I hit another comma. And then to tell the calculator to put the line in the Y1, I hit VARS, right arrow to Y VARS, enter on function, enter on Y1. Now I'm set to go. When I hit enter, I get the regression line. You can see here A is the slope, B is the Y intercept. I can also get the correlation by doing the following hitting second catalog. Notice the A here, so I hit the D to move me to the D and I want to scroll down till I get diagnostics on there it is I hit enter on diagnostics on I hit enter again and it's done by hitting second enter twice I get the same command that I did earlier now when I hit enter I get the R which is the correlation value I want and when I hit graph there are the points with the line